Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to the channel. My name is Roxanne, also known as Bai Bun, and I'm a mixed media artist, illustrator, and maker of things. Happy New Year, everyone. Can you believe it? It's 2024, I know. Um, when was the last time I saw you? Vlogmas. We were doing some Vlogmas videos, albeit very sporadic and random Vlogmas videos. Um, but that is how I sort of wrapped up 2023 here on YouTube, um, was really falling off the wagon. And to be fair, I just had a lot going on. The end of 2023 um, kind of just ran me over like a semi-truck with everything that was kind of going on, just a lot of personal things, which of course I'm not going to not going to get into. Um, but just a lot. I had to just switch into like uber mom mode at the end of the year. Um, we of course did some traveling back east to visit family. Um, lots of just illnesses, you know, uh, my kiddo got sick, I got sick, my husband got sick, and then traveling and then coming home and then just home chaos, but good home chaos continuing. I have lots of stuff going on behind the scenes over here. And I'm just gonna leave it at that. And I hope to one day fill you in on everything. And I know I keep telling my patrons the same thing as I'm vlogging over there. Like, you guys, I have a lot going on. I can't say what it is, but just trust me, it's crazy. And one day I will fill you in. Um, so I feel like that all said, my start of my year has been just like really strange. Like, you know how there's that weird twilight zone between Christmas and New Year's? I still feel like I'm in that twilight zone. Like, what day is it? you know, what day of the week is it? I'm like, what's going on? I just feel like I'm having a very slow start to the year. Um, is anyone else feeling that way? I don't know if it's just this year or just because of what I'm kind of juggling a lot. I'm juggling a lot at the moment and maybe that's why I'm feeling like I'm kind of lagging. Usually at the start of the year, I am like guns blazing, ready to go. I've got my goals. I've got my list of things that I want to do. I've already usually put out like my 2024 lineup video. I'm sure that's something you guys are anxiously waiting for, or you just don't care. Let's be honest. No one really cares. In my mind, it's a video that I know I need to get out. Um, but I just haven't like settled into the year yet. You know, I did make a list of goals for this year, but I haven't really like taken the time to sit and like properly like digest them and like really figure out like my plan of attack of what I'm actually going to be doing this year. Again, I'm just living in that twilight zone. I'm in a twilight zone and at some point I will get out of it. But in the meantime, my Hobonichi will be looking nice, which is what we're working on today. Uh, longest intro ever to basically tell you that I am collaging the cover of my 2024 Hobonichi. Uh, it is the cousin of Vec, so it is two books. But this year, very special. This is my third or fourth year being in a Hobonichi but I upgraded the size. I've been in an A6 for, I, I think three years. I've been in the A6 for three years at this point. And I just made the decision, you know what? Let's upgrade to an A5. I'm, I need more paper real estate. I need more space for writing notes and lists, uh, my reading journal as well. Um, Cause that is what I'm hoping to add to the list of functions that my Hobonichi does for me. I call my Hobonichi my planner journal, by the way, in case you're new here and you are unfamiliar with what this is. Um, it is my planner, but it is also my personal journal. It acts like a junk journal a lot of times where I will just throw in random receipts or photos or like things from the week. Um, it's also where all of my planning lives. So like my monthly dates, uh, my weekly to-do lists, um, my general lists of things like my video idea lists, um, editing lists, filming lists, all that kind of stuff lives in this. It's kind of like my go-to thing. It's always on my desk, um, which is another easy reason for me to upgrade to the A5 was because I don't carry this around with me everywhere. But it is my main thing of where I manage my whole schedule. My schedule, my husband's schedule, my kid's schedule. This book is like my personal Bible of my life, like everything goes into it. So it felt like it was time to upgrade to the A5. And since working in it, it is so much fun. It is so much fun. Now I know you guys are only seeing 
the exterior of it here as I am collaging the outside, which is what I do with all my Hobonichis. And I have several previous cover collage videos here on the channel, which I will try to link down below in case you haven't seen those. But I always like collaging them because I feel like it helps kind of set the vibe, set the tone for the planner. And it's something you get to see when, you know, you open up your cover and you've got your fun little festive collage on the front. Um, it's especially fun with the Avec because, you know, you get to do this again halfway through the year of kind of like a little freshen up with your planner, which I absolutely love. Um, but I'm really enjoying being in the A5. And as I was saying, I know you guys are just seeing the outside. If you do want to see some actual like planner journal content, all of that lives over on my Patreon. And I actually, um, towards the end of last year, I think I did a, a November and December I did planner journal with me videos, a part one, part two of setting up this whole um, planner journal because it's new, kind of a new setup, right? Um, because I'm adding so many more functions to it this year, like adding a reading journal. Um, I've become a reader. I'm a reader girly now, as you guys know, with the book content that I sporadically put up on the channel. Um, but I did want to have a place where I can kind of jot down quotes and ideas and um, make lists of the books that I want to read, books that I have read, my reading challenge, all that stuff. And I'm finding out that the A5 is like just what I needed to document that sort of stuff. I wasn't sure if I was ready to like dive into a full reading journal on its own yet. Like the last thing I need is to add another book to my pile of books as it is. So my planner journal just made the most sense as the place for me to kind of do that book journaling. So I did some preliminary setup kind of at the start of the year to get myself sort of squared away for that. Um, again, those videos are on Patreon. I'll put a link for you down below if you want to watch any of those. Um, and what else did I set up in this journal? Oh, I was doing a lot of um, junk journal January prep in this. I took a page to write out all the prompts, sort of draft up some ideas, because that's something else I've really been working on this month. And I actually started end of the year because I'm actually participating in junk journal in January this year. I have a video for day 14, which will either be up before or after this video. I'm not entirely sure. You will see at least that video here on YouTube. So that will be fun. I don't usually post my junk journal videos on YouTube, but you will get at least one day of it. Um, the rest of those videos, I've been doing weekly recaps and weekly junk journal with me videos over on Patreon. So there's more over there if you want to watch that. Um, but you know, one of my big goals for this year on YouTube is of course, continuing to put up at least one video a week for you guys here. I have lots of video ideas in my brain, vlogs, studio vlogs, dollhouse content, um, just all the things I'm hoping to continue to bring you guys content here on the channel as well. So have no fear. We are continuing with weekly videos, even though I had that weird, you know, twilight zone blip of no videos. We are back at it. We're back at it. Uh, with a super cute uh, Hobonichi cover, all collaged and ready to go. I'm really happy with how this turned out, especially in the cover. It's super cute. Anywho, hope you guys like this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!